What are, what are your favorite? Are you from Columbia? Yes, I'm born and raised in Columbia, Tennessee. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why are you here? What are your feelings on this subject? I'm here because uh, just to be the voice uh, for an animal that doesn't have a voice. Um, I love the Tennessee walking horse. I think it's one of the most beautiful uh, creatures out there. However, uh, I do not support the Big Lick uh, horse show. It's a pain-induced gait. Um, and I don't believe um, that we have the right to induce pain and suffering on, on any animal or person. Well, thank you. Dorothy, you've been out on the side of the road with us protesting, <laughs> and you brought friends and got hot one day. Dorothy, <laughs> what are you doing here today? Well, I've been here uh, in Columbia since 1979, and my entire life has been about preventing animal torture, and I, I perceive the big lick as nothing more than um, torture to, on horses. And the Tennessee Walker is a beautiful horse. I have nothing against Tennessee Walkers. I've ridden walkers many times and enjoyed their glide. But I have never uh, been a part, not because of my vanity, nor my ego, nor my morality, can I um, sanction torture. Thank you very much. Sharia, you've come and you've protested with us at the gates of the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. In your words, tell me why you're here this morning, please. I'm here to support all those citizens who also support the end of torture for these beautiful animals. There's no type of entertainment that's worth the torture in exchange. Uh, this needs to come to an end. And we're we hope that we're spearheading this along with all the other citizens, over 3,000 signatures, 3, 13,000 signatures we've uh, collected to present to the Chamber of Commerce. And we're just looking forward to taking the next step, which will hopefully be the last step in securing the freedom and the pain-free life for these horses. One thing that we've run into is they attempt to justify the animal cruelty by saying they donate money to charities. This subject was covered at the University of Mississippi in 2015 when we started a change.org petition and we asked the University of Mississippi Medical Center to disassociate itself from the animal cruelty horse show in Jackson, Mississippi. It took the University of Mississippi seven days to analyze it and come to the conclusion that no charitable donation is worth animal cruelty. They turned down a $50,000 annual donation. Basically, the Big Lick intention was to obtain legitimacy through saying they give money to charity. That's just not acceptable. There's other ways to raise much more money than $50,000 if you're not associated with the animal cruelty. Uh, we owe a great debt of gratitude to the Chamber of Commerce who welcomed us here this morning and allowed us to come and be here in the conference room. Thank you very much, reporting from Murray Alliance Chamber of Commerce.